Hi, my name is Krupa and welcome to Krishan Yoga. Today I want to go through a great pose with you for relieving neck pain, which is called rabbit pose, also known as hair pose or bunny pose, and in Sanskrit known as Shasangasana. So uh, with this pose, there are so many anatomical benefits um, to the neck and the surrounding muscles of the uh, neck area, but it also brings with it a nice calming effect too. It's a forward bend, so done seated uh, on the knees, so the heart is in an um, elevated position relative to the uh, head. And uh, this, as we know, um, increases blood flow to the brain, but also um, calms the nervous system and hence it's a great stress reliever. Uh, this pose um, lengthens and stretches the back of the neck and engages the muscles on the uh, front of the neck and also just open the chest, the shoulders and the mid back. So great all rounder, let's get started. We're going to begin in tabletop position with knees stacked under the hip joints and hands in line with the shoulders. Then engage the abs, activating the Uddiyana Bandha and walk the hands underneath the shoulder blades into a narrow tabletop position. With this you'll find the spine begins to round, so we want to lift the chest. At the same time, engage the pelvic floor, drawing it upwards towards your navel, activating the Mula Bandha also. Press into the tops of the feet and start to walk the hands all the way back. And as you do that, take the crown of the head towards the mat. Encourage your chin to come towards the chest and stay here for a few breaths. You can also use a block here if you want for extra support. And feel free to use a blanket to pad the knees also. If you want to take it further, once in this position, you can interlace the fingertips and place them behind the knees and stay here for a few breaths. And if you feel comfortable, you can reach back to grab the heels. Option here to curl your toes also to shorten that distance. And then while you're here, just focus on creating length and space. Gently lift the hips up and be careful not to put a lot of weight on the crown of the head as you want to protect the neck area. So instead, press into the tops of the feet and shins. Make sure you are breathing deeply here, creating that spatial awareness and keeping the shoulders nice and stable. There is also an option here to clasp the hands and take them up and over the head for another variation if you feel comfortable. And then when you are ready, with control, slowly release the hands and lift up into tabletop position. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.